Welcome back. This plum tree is just waking up and I want to open it up so we get better flow of light through the middle and hopefully it makes fruit because it has not been fruiting despite being a nice age to fruit. What I do is take out some of these center branches so the sunlight comes through the middle. Because remember, a fruit tree needs sunlight. Leaves are solar collectors that create sugars and the fruits are loaded with sugars. So what we want is fruit. If you don't have enough light coming through the middle, you don't get fruit. So you get this airflow and the circulation through the center. When I see something like this going right through the middle, I don't want that. Ideally, your plum has a nice vase shape. There's a lot of other things you can do with them. You can train them on wires and make them into bushes and things like that. But if you're just going with an orchard tree, you want to cut out any dead branches, cut out the the crossing stuff, and any super vigorous uprights you often take out too. I'm not gonna do too much to this tree. I just wanna open the middle to let the light through. Keep it from going up too tall. Don't need much here. This is all budding out already. Now you gotta be careful with plums. I was reading they can get a disease if you cut them too early and they have to sit through the entire winter and they can't grow back and heal. But this time of year, we've actually got green in the buds already. I figure they're probably gonna be fine. And if not, it wasn't making any fruit anyways. This one is crossing. Pretty much take the tree branches out that are going back into the middle. And if you take too much off at once, you're not going to get fruit that year anyways. So I think I'm going to stop right there. The light is going in the middle now. A couple of little ones. These don't count. These don't count as not stopping. I've stopped. When you have loppers, everything looks like a branch. There we go. That is open enough for now and that's gonna let the light through. But it's just this little little bit of maintenance. And when you lop too, don't lop them straight down to the branch. Leave a little collar around because if you don't have that little collar, it doesn't heal back well. You need the cells to heal back. Otherwise you get a rotten spot that eats into the side of the trunk and you don't want that. Ideally this would have been pruned from the time it was really little. But I'd say for not having had it, it's, it doesn't have that bad a shape. It'll fruit and maybe even this year. Thanks for joining me. I will put links to some pruning resources below this video. And until next time, may your thumbs, may your plums always be green. I buried my rabbit beneath the cherry tree One fine afternoon Someday I know that we'll meet again On a fruit salad spoon